Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Salman Momeni. Uh, I am PhD of Mechanical Engineering from Sharif University of Technology in Iran. And uh, today I want to talk about my uh, recent project that discussed about uh, the vibration suppression of laminated composite uh, wind turbine blades reinforced with a uh, different fraction of nanoparticles. Uh, at the first, uh, I want to talk about the outline of uh, this project. Uh, the outline of this project consists of motivation and uh, the history of nanoparticles and different uh, tapered beams, uh, vibration of uh, wind turbine blades and experimental procedures. And at the end, I want to talk about the conclusion of this project. <clears throat> As you know, uh, composite structures are being used in many engineering applications, such as wind turbine blades, uh, uh, helicopter blades, arms of the robots, satellites, and many other applications, as you know. Uh, If, if I want to talk about the advantages of composite structures, as you know, the higher strength and higher stiffness uh, to weight ratio are better than uh, other materials such as uh, metallic counterparts and uh, higher strength with low weight. And uh, these kind of materials uh, improve thermal insulation and the transportation uh, is much more easier than other uh, applications and the maintenance is better than others and uh, if you can if, if you use the uh, composite structures the fuel uh, and cost are much more better than other materials uh, as you can see in this figure after a period of time uh, composite structures uh, have sudden failure uh, uh, that uh, it is not uh, suitable for our project and uh, for our goals. Uh, because of that, uh, we want to improve the uh, dynamic behavior of these structures. A new class of materials uh, with individual components that the name of this material is uh, nanoparticle, improves dynamic behavior, modulus of elasticity, damping coefficient, and natural frequencies. Uh, in addition, excuse me. In addition, in order to improve the uh, dynamic behavior of uh, wind turbine blade or tapered uh, structures, uh, we can use uh, two methods. The first one is by using uh, the nanoparticles, uh, we can improve the dynamic behavior. Um, and the next one, uh, using different tapered uh, composite structures. In this slide, you can see four models of uh, tapered laminated composite beams. Model A, B, C, and D. And uh, in order to determine the uh, equation of motion of tapered laminated composite structures and numerical solution, CLPT theory uh, is used. And by using this uh, theory, sigma 2, 3, and sigma 1, 3, and sigma 3, 3, all of them are equal to zero. And by deriving the equation of motion of tapered laminated beams, uh, we can calculate the uh, mass matrix, a stiffness matrix, and in next step, the natural frequencies of, of uh, structure. And tapered laminated composite structures, as I said in previous slides, consist of 
four models model A, B, C, and D. Uh, the apply drop off uh, for all uh, models are filled by resin of nanoparticles. In this project, we, dis uh, we investigated uh, the different percentages of nanoparticles for all four models. And this uh, table shows the mechanical properties of uh, tapered laminated beams. Uh, by adding 3% of nanoparticles, the amount of E11 and E22 uh, increased and improved. And beyond the amount of 3%, uh, the amount, the, uh, the mechanical properties started to decrease. And after that, by adding the 10% of nanoparticles, uh, the amount of the amounts of E11 and E22 suddenly decreased. Uh, and in this slide, uh, I calculated the uh, natural frequencies and damping coefficient of uh, different tapered uh, structures uh, in clamped free boundary condition. As you can see, the amount of uh, natural frequencies uh, for model A uh, is lower than other models. And uh, the amount of uh, natural frequencies of model D uh, is, are, are higher than other models. Um, I think based on uh, our goal and uh, the duty services, we can use uh, different tapered model. And this uh, figure shows the uh, different, uh, the comparison of uh, natural frequencies of different models. And uh, in this slide, uh, tip displacement uh, of uh, different tapered uh, structures are showing here. Tip displacement is same as natural frequencies. Uh, for example, model A uh, has the lowest amount of tip displacement and natural frequencies and the next Next one is uh, model C, and uh, but but uh, model D has the highest amount of tip, tip displacement and natural frequencies. And in all models, by applying or adding nanoparticles up to three percent, the amounts of natural frequencies increased. And by adding ten percent of natural frequencies in all models. Uh, natural frequencies suddenly decreased. In next step, in order to validate the uh, numerical results with experimental, uh, we, we fabricate uh, the laminated, tapered laminated composite structures uh, by using the uh, eagle as materials and applying nanoparticles and radium. And in order to uh, prepare the uh, tapered laminated composite structures, uh, we put uh, the plates in, in autoclub for 160 minutes at 80 degrees centigrade. And after that, we can cut it into the strips. And excuse me. Um, in order to measure the uh, natural frequencies or damping coefficient of uh, different uh, composite structures, uh, I used the uh, instrument with the name of STD3300 and uh, by uh, applying a tiny velocity 
sensor at the end of the structure, uh, I calculated uh, the amounts of natural frequency and damping coefficient. Mm. This slide shows the comparison between the experimental properties and numerical properties of uh, tapered composite beam of model A. Uh, after the comparison, the error rates in tapered beam of model A, model A are about uh, four up to six percent. And I think this uh, this comparison is very suitable and I think it is a, uh, suitable for uh, doing other researchers in this area. At the end, in this uh, project, dynamic response of tapered laminated composite beams reinforced with different percentages of nanoparticles have been investigated and up to 3% increases the natural frequencies and between 3% and 5% slightly decreased and uh, up to 10% uh, suddenly uh, reduced the natural frequencies. And model, a, model D has the highest and model A has the lowest amount of natural frequencies. And as I said, the vibration response is achieved using a vibration data analyzer, STD3300 of uh, Technocan company. Uh, as I said that, a reasonable match between the experimental results and numerical results. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please let me know.